Modern bombers aren't just big trucks for dropping bombs anymore. They've become super advanced, long-range machines that can hit targets with pinpoint accuracy, even in deep enemy territory, all while staying under the radar. Today's best bombers are designed with unique shapes, materials that absorb radar and low heat signatures to dodge detection by advanced air defense systems. The practice of carpet bombing is largely outdated today. Now these bombers carry a variety of precision-guided weapons like GPS and laser-guided bombs, as well as long-range cruise missiles. There is also a growing trend towards integrating hypersonic missiles which provide unprecedented speed and maneuverability to overwhelm defenses. Many bombers have the capability to deliver unconventional and nuclear weapons. Without further delay, let us look into the 7 best bomber aircraft in the world today. Number 7. The Tupolev Tu-22M3M The bomber is a modernized variant of the Soviet-era Tu-22 M3 Backfire Long-Range Strategic and Maritime Strike Bomber, developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in Russia. It is an upgrade aimed at extending the service life of the existing Tu-22 M3 fleet and enhancing its combat capabilities. The modernization includes the reactivation of mid-air refueling capabilities, which were previously disabled due to arms control treaties like SALT-2. The supersonic variable sweep wing bomber is designed for long-range missions capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear weapons. The Tu-22M3M is the primary platform for the KH-32, a heavily upgraded supersonic and high-altitude cruise missile. Some sources also indicate that the bomber will soon be equipped with a Kinzhal hypersonic missile. Russia is estimated to have around 57 Tu-22M3 strategic bombers, with a smaller number potentially upgraded to the Tu-22M3M configuration. At number 6, the Xi'an H-20, China's first dedicated strategic bomber. The Xi'an H-20 is a highly anticipated and secretive subsonic aircraft that is currently being developed. While the Xi'an H-20 shares a similar flying wing design with American B-2 bomber, it is not a direct copy. Instead, the H-20 is the result of China's own development efforts, though it is influenced by Western designs. It will feature advanced stealth technologies, including radar absorbent materials and a design that minimizes radar, infrared, and acoustic signatures. The teased imagery and models suggest that the H-20 may include features such as serrated air intakes and possibly adjustable tail surfaces. Although specific details about the bombers remain scarce, it is generally believed to be a subsonic aircraft, emphasizing stealth and range rather than speed. The H-20 is intended for long-range strategic missions, with estimates of its unrefueled range varying, but generally suggesting at least 8,500 kilometers. With aerial refueling, its operational range could extend globally. The estimated payload capacity ranges from 10 to over 40 tons. At number 5, the Rockwell B-1B Lancer. Despite its age, the B-1B Lancer remains a powerful long-range bomber. Featuring a variable sweep wing design, it can achieve supersonic speeds and carry a substantial payload, including precision-guided munitions. The B-1B's wings can be swept back for high speed, low-altitude penetration, or extended forward for more efficient takeoff, landing, and long-range cruising. This design allows for a unique combination of high speed and effective short field performance. Although it is not as fast as the original B-1A model, the B-1B is still supersonic, capable of reaching speeds of Mach 1.25 at high altitudes. The B-1B has the largest conventional payload capacity of any bomber in the U.S. Air Force inventory, allowing it to carry up to 34 tons internally across three large weapon bays and an additional 23 tons on six external hardpoints. The U.S. Air Force currently operates 45 Rockwell B-1B Lancer strategic bombers, which are stationed at Dias Air Force Base in Texas and Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. Number 4. The Tupolev Tu-160M2 
The upgraded Tu-160M2 is an enhanced version of the Cold War-era Tu-160. It holds the title of the largest and heaviest combat aircraft in the world and is currently the fastest bomber in operation. Russia has resumed the production of entirely new Tu-160M2s, utilizing modernized facilities and updated production techniques. The Tu-160M2 is designed to carry Russia's most advanced strategic and conventional standoff weapons, including Kh-101, 102 cruise missiles, and hypersonic missiles. It has a significant internal weapons payload capacity of up to 40 tons. While the program aims to produce around 50 modernized or new Tu-160M2s, production has encountered challenges. As of early 2025, only a few new airframes have been assembled from Soviet-era stockpiles. Additionally, the Tu-160M2 has been actively deployed in the conflict in Ukraine to carry out cruise missile strikes. At number 3, the Tupolev Pak DA. The upcoming Tupolev Pak DA is Russia's ambitious project aimed at developing a new generation strategic stealth bomber. It is designed to replace the aging Tupolev Tu-95 and to complement the modernized Tu-160M2 in Russia's long-range aviation fleet. Unlike previous Russian bombers that focused on speed, the Pak DA emphasizes stealth and low observability. The bomber features a flying wing design like that of several Western bombers, which is optimized to minimize its radar cross-section. The Pak DA is intended to have a very long operational range, reportedly around 12,000 kilometers unrefueled, and the capability to remain airborne for up to 30 hours. This will provide it with global reach, especially with the support of aerial refueling. While initial reports projected that the first flight would occur in the mid-2020s, with serial production beginning in 2027, the timeline has been continuously adjusted. As of June 2025, reports indicate that the first flight is unlikely to happen before the end of 2025, with serial production potentially delayed into the 2030s or even later. At number 2, the B-2 Spirit, one of the most advanced stealth bombers ever built. The bomber features a flying wing design that allows it to evade radar detection while delivering both nuclear and conventional payloads, although it is costly to maintain. Its strategic importance remains unmatched. The most notable characteristic of the B-2 is its unique flying wing design, which does not include a traditional fuselage, vertical wing, or horizontal stabilizers. This design eliminates many surfaces that would typically reflect radar signals. Its smooth, rounded contours are specifically engineered to deflect the radar waves away from receivers, making it extremely difficult to detect. The aircraft's entire surface is coated with highly classified composite materials that absorb radar energy instead of reflecting it. The combination of shape and materials results in a radar cross-section that is often compared to that of a small bird or even a large insect rendering it virtually invisible to sophisticated radar systems. The B-2 Spirit has participated in significant military operations in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, and the recent conflict in Iran. At number 1, the B-21 Raider The B-21 Raider is the latest stealth bomber developed for the United States aircraft. It is designed to replace the aging B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit. This aircraft features next-generation stealth technology, extended range, and AI-assisted avionics. It is optimized for both nuclear and conventional strikes and can penetrate advanced air defense systems. The B-21 is expected to enter service by the late 2020s and is designed not only to address today's threats, but also to operate effectively in the complex and contested environments of the future. Northrop Grumman and the U.S. Air Force have classified the B-21 as a sixth-generation aircraft. Although the full definition of sixth-generation is still evolving, for the B-21, it emphasizes advanced capabilities and innovations. With this, we're winding up for today, but don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll bring you more interesting videos from the world of military. We'll see you guys again in our next video. Bye-bye.